Hi everyone, Gene here again with Mahalo.com. In the same vein as brushes, traditional artists spend a fortune on paint, ink, and just about anything else that can be applied to a canvas. The color panel in Photoshop will save you some money on these products. Here you can create quite literally tens of millions of different colors for your work. Let's take a look. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over here and select an active color. And the active color is just the color that we're working with now with our current brush. So right now it's set to black. I'm going to undo that pressing Control Z or Command Z on the Mac. And I'm just going to select, um, I don't know, a nice little sky blue here. Then I'm going to go up to the window menu and I'm going to make sure that the color panel is checked. And that brings up our color panel. Now up here you see there are two main ways to control the active color. The first is by adjusting these sliders right here. And then the second is by using what they call a spectrum down the bottom. Now the reason they call this a spectrum, even though you only see six different colors right now, is because if you come up here to the panel's menu, you can select different spectrums. Let's take a quick moment to talk about what all of these random letters mean in front of the word sliders and spectrum. The well, first thing we have is RGB. RGB is commonly used in electronic devices. Essentially, this is an additive color model. Now additive means that the colors on the sliders are added together to produce new colors. The way that your monitor works is that it projects different intensities of red, green, and blue, and these colors combine in order to create the colors that we see. CMYK is a subtractive color model. The colors that we see when we're walking around the world are also subtractive. For example, if you're looking at a stop sign, the red background that you see is actually absorbing every single color except for red. Then the red light is reflected back, and that's the color that we see. CMYK is primarily seen in print. HSB is actually a child of the RGB mode. This is just a different method of producing the RGB spectrum. Instead of using red, green, and blue as our sliders, we're going to use hue, saturation, and brightness. Lab color, on the other hand, is determined by changing lightness and two points on a graph, A and B, which represent coordinates. The two main sides of the graph range from blue to red and from blue to green. Lab color was created to more accurately reproduce human vision than the RGB and CMYK color models. The last option down here at the bottom is the web safe option. In the early days of the internet, monitors were only capable of producing a finite amount of color. The web safe color group is that set of colors that can be reproduced easily on early computers. So now that we know what all this means, we can select any of these sliders and that will change our sliders, which in turn will allow us to make different color selections. Or if we prefer, we can come down here and change our spectrum as well. And that's gonna show us a different color spectrum at the bottom, which we can then just move the eyedropper tool along to select a different color. Two other things I wanna cover really quick. Back up in the panels menu, if we come down here, we see the option make ramp web safe. Now all this does is it takes our spectrum area and it only includes the web safe colors that we talked about a little bit earlier. So if we deselect that, you can see that there's a more even gradient between all of the colors on our ramp. And the last thing that I'm going to talk to you about real quickly is another web safe option. Whenever you select a color, sometimes you'll see this exclamation point over here pop up with a little square next to it of a color. If you check that color, it's going to take the current color that you have selected and change it to its nearest web safe print ready neighbor. Well, that's all for now. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below. Send any questions that you might have to request at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.